Hey y'all, how you doing today? Dana here, and I'm bringing you a retro meal today. And y'all, it is kraut and weenies, or weenies and kraut. What do you call this? Do you call it kraut and weenies? Do you call it weenies and kraut? Did your mom used to cook it for you? My grandmother used to cook it for me, and we loved it. So if you love kraut and weenies, or weenies and kraut, give me a heart. Let me know who my people are out there. I've already got mine started, y'all. This is like an eye on your stove, and you've got it over medium heat, and I sprayed a little bit of olive oil in it. Uh, or, you know, you could do cooking spray. And then what you gotta have to make this is some kraut, and you gotta have some kind of uh, hot dogs, uh, some kind of weenies. These are sausage links. And I also have some of these uh, deer sticks, you know, that I put in there. And these have jalapeno and cheese in it. And see, you can jazz this up by whatever flavors you choose. If you want it a little hot, you can add Cajun flavors. If you don't, you add regular sausage. It is good. The first thing I do is uh, put a little spray in there and I get the meat in. So y'all, I'm cutting this up right now. Uh, and these are a little fat, so I'm splitting mine in two, and I'm cutting them like this so that the bites won't be too big. Uh, how do y'all cut yours? If it was a regular hot dog, I would just, you know, do it with one little slice down the middle. But I love uh, weenies and kraut, kraut and weenies. Uh, let me ask y'all this. What do y'all uh, serve with it? I'll tell you, I usually serve cornbread and peas. What do you serve with your kraut and weenies? Y'all list it below. Because I might need to know. I might want to serve what you serve. Yours might look better than mine. <laughs> and it could. And I'll be like, oh, that's a good idea. I like good ideas about cooking. So y'all doing okay today? I got together with my friend yesterday. I think I told you. And also cousin. <laughs> cousin and friend. And we had the best time. Uh, talking and laughing, and y'all know what we talked about a lot? Cooking and food. So when you get together with your friends, what do you talk about? We talked about family and cooking and food. All right, these are thin, so I'm gonna do me these little snack sticks. And see, they have, they have cheese in it. They have cheese in it and jalapeno, so it's gonna make it a little hotter. Now, if you don't like it hot, don't, by all means, don't put it in there, okay? So I've cut up a little of that. Hang on a minute. There we go. Did y'all see this uh, dishcloth I made? I, I knit and crochet too, so made me a dishcloth. I think it's pretty. Do y'all have hobbies like that? Tell me below. Okay, I got this going, and now we gotta add our sauerkraut after this cooks long enough. So let me just stir it up and see. Now see, these are smoked, so they're already done. I just gotta heat mine up good. And I like to get a little caramelization on mine, and I'm gonna show you what I like on mine. See, little caramelization on the meat. That's how I like it. Uh, anyway, let me turn it up a smidge. It's not going hot enough. Well, the next thing we gotta do is sauerkraut. Now, I know some of y'all are gonna say how much. Well, you just add how much ever you want to. You can buy sauerkraut in jars. You can buy it in cans. Today, I have this kind that's in a jar, and I'm gonna add it in there in just a minute when this gets hot enough. Now, I do have a question for you. Those of you, y'all know that sauerkraut is fermented cabbage, and it's really good for your what they call your gut health for because it's got probiotics in it, just like yogurt. So it's really good for you. My question is, do you drain yours, yes or no, before you cook with it, or do you uh, rinse it? Some people rinse it off, and I've never rinsed mine off, but I'm interested to see what you do. So below, let me know. Do you rinse yours off or not? Now, I don't, and I'm gonna show you how I add mine instead of just draining. I kinda do mine like with a fork, see like this, see? And it drips a little, and I like to have a little of that juice in there, cause y'all that juice is flavor to me. But I wanna know what y'all do. Tell me people, tell me. And do y'all love retro meals? I love this. I remember going to my nanny's house and she would have this, and she would make crackling cornbread and it would be so good. And of course she would have peas and sometimes she'd have macaroni with it. Oh my goodness. We're gonna be happy today. And y'all, this is low carb cooking. 
So if you're on any kind of keto thing or whatever, it's low carb. You can have this. There we go. Let me turn the heat up a little bit and get that done. And y'all, the flavor from that meat is gonna come out and flavor your, your um, sauerkraut. Now, I remember one time when I was a little girl going to my nanny Swan's house, and she had all these churns out in her washroom, and they smelled terrible. And we're like, oh, nanny, what's that smell? And she said, I'm making sauerkraut. So she was making homemade sauerkraut. So if any of you have ever made your own homemade sauerkraut, y'all tell me who you are and would you do it again, okay? Because that is something that's very interesting to me. I've never made my own sauerkraut, but my nanny swan did. We never knew what she would be into. One time we went down there and she had bought a whole load of chickens and uh, a lot of chickens and she was preparing them for the freezer. Now that was something, I can just tell you. A little bit, bit, a little bit of something. Well, while that's cooking, I'm gonna put the lid on this. Hold on. And we can chat just a minute. Now y'all, this right here, I know everybody's gonna ask me about this pan. It's from Towncraft, and that was a group that used to go around, and I don't know if they're still in business or not. This is about 30 years old. Uh, the, they go around and would sell cookware in people's houses. So you'd go to your friend's house for a party thinking you're just going to have a good time and you come home with a whole set of cookware. Well, this is, um, this is part of it and I love it. And it's just like having an eye on your stove. So working. And the reason I have it over here is it's hard to put that camera up under that stove hood. So that's the reason I have it here. But it's from Towncraft. And uh, I don't even know if they're still in business, but that's what it is. I've had it a long time. My mother has all that cookware. I have it. My mother-in-law has it. We all have it. Uh, and it's good chefware. But anyway, enough about that. Let me talk to you about a few things and go through my list here. Let me get me a drink of tea. Y'all know I love the y'all sweet tea. And uh, it's delicious. Uh, and I've been drinking this ever since they've started making it, and I just love it. And y'all, if you go to y'all, sweettea.com, and I'll put the link above, uh, you can get this tea 10% off, sent right to your house. And um, put the code DANA, D-A-N-N-A, in it, D-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, and you'll get 10% off. Ooh, baby, this is bubbling. Can y'all hear it? It's shaking, rattling, and rolling. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we're going to let it do that just a little bit longer. All right, another thing I want to tell you about is on Saturday. Where am I going to be? I'm going to be at Psalms 34 Bakery. I'll put the link above. That's in Empire, Alabama, which is not far from me. And we're going to have from 8 to 10 sausage, gravy, and biscuits. So y'all come on out and get you some. Uh, Hannah and her ladies will be cooking breakfast. And y'all, it's really good. And I'll be there and I'll have my books. Hold on. Happiness is homemade, y'all. I'll have them there. You can purchase them. Or if you've already got one of my books and you want me to sign it, bring it on out. I'll have my pen ready. So, Psalms 34 Bakery on Saturday, March the 4th um, from 8 in the morning till 10. And y'all, that gravy and biscuit goes fast. So, hop on up out of the bed and come get you some. Uh, let's see. Oh, if you want my autographed book and you can't be here, go to yallsweettea.com and you can get my autographed book. And that would be, use the code DANA, D-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, and you'll get 10% off. So anyway, I've covered all the business. Let's look and see how my food's doing. Ooh, baby, that's hot. All right. Oh, yeah. Gotta get that out of the way. That's burning me up. All right, this is looking pretty good. Now, I like mine when the uh, kraut starts changing colors. Y'all, my glasses keep fogging up. When the kraut starts changing colors, see, y'all look at that. And this is low carb. We're going to be so mm, happy. Now, some people add more things to this, but I'm a purist about this. I just want the kraut and the weenies. And what I'm going to do right now is let this keep going, but I'm going to eat a little bite, pull some out so you can see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's hot, man. So we got to let this cool. Let it cool. Ooh, baby. Hot, hot baby. See my little brown drip bowls? I love these. I go thrifting, thrift store, and find my brown drip. These are made by Hull, H-U-L-L. -L. 
And I also have some made by McCoy, M-C-C-O-Y. I have both of those, but the most of them I have are the whole. Okay, I'm holding this out so we can see if I've done well or not. Let me make it look pretty for you. Y'all, this is popping like, like fireworks over here. But I do like it to get brown. Do y'all like y'all to get brown a little bit? Oh, it's going to be so good. My hubby and I are going to have this for lunch. Peas, maybe some macaroni, maybe some cornbread. We're going to wash it all down with a big old glass of y'all sweet tea. Mmm. All right, here we go. Let's see how it is. Mmm. That is good. Tangy. And to me, I'm, look, y'all, I'll make another pan. Maybe my husband won't mind. <laughs> it is good and tangy. Oh, it is so good. It brings back so many memories. Mmm. One more bite, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to turn this down on low. Turn it down on low. And cover it. Hold on. Mmm. I'm going to keep it warm until lunchtime. So. <laughs> if I can stay out of it, I will. So anyway, I just want to say, y'all go make you some kraut and weenies or weenies and kraut, whatever you call it. And send me a thumbs up if you like retro meals because I like retro meals. It brings back good memories to me. So if you like them, give me a thumbs up. And y'all share this video. And I do need to answer one question. I have got a lot of people saying, I can't find your videos. How do you find my videos? You go to my page, Dana Standridge. This is the picture on the front of it. And you go to videos. Okay, there's a, a little dot that says video right under the picture. Click that dot. It'll take you to all of my videos down through there, and you can pick the ones to watch that you want. And you can save them to your page. So y'all do that if you want to. Y'all share my page, and let me just tell you, the good Lord loves you, and I love you too, and y'all go make some good kraut and winnies, winnies and kraut for your family. They're going to love it. Talk to you later. Bye.